Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten, and I've got another Trump-related reading for you guys, uh, politically um, charged reading for you guys today. This one is about Michael Avenatti. I have said in the past, if you do a search on my homepage for Avenatti, I've had several readings that I did on him, or he, or he, where his his name is in the title bar. And I believe in one of those readings I mentioned Avenatti for president. Didn't I? I surely did. Um, check those out and you can um, hear it for yourself. When I say certain things in a reading, um, whatever I say, where I, whatever I feel inclined to say, sometimes it feels odd. They're potential predictions. They are predictions, right? And I've, I've said that as well. I've told you guys that in the past as well. My very first reading on Trump, Trump part one and part two, um, on the day of the inauguration, I mentioned adoptions. At the time, I did had no idea what context that involved, so I assumed it was that the Republican Party adopted Trump because he wasn't a true Republican. But now we find out that adoptions was code for sanctions. So when I feel led to say something, um, it has a potential to have some value down the road. And I did say, Avenatti, are you going to run for president? Check it out and see for yourself. Well, Avenatti, are you going to run for president? And that's what this reading is about today. That's my dog in the background. Mandy says, hey. All right, so the question is, will Avenatti run for president? And if so, can he win? Before we get started, this is going to be a full video. Um, but the, coming up this week, I'm going to be doing looking into the Manhattan Madam. But that is only for my Patreon listeners and members. So if you haven't joined my Patreon family, please make sure to... Um, join up the the uh, you can find a link to that in my description box become a patreon member for only five dollars a month you can get um, access to all my videos um, uncut as they are released now that video is not ready yet but it will be coming up this week okay um, so hit the like button please subscribe if you haven't already share my videos with your friends please encourage them to subscribe and thank you for your comments. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for everyone who has become a Patreon member. I appreciate you all so much. And um, let's get started. All right. Avenatti for president. The first, I'm using the uh, Chronicles of Destiny. You can see that. Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards today. Along with regular uh, playing cards as clarifiers. And La Vera Sibylla. Um, here and there as clarifiers, okay? So the main issue, the bottom of the deck, we have treasure. Treasure. Just treasure. That's what it's called. And the five of clubs. So, um, the issue uh, in terms of Avenatti running for president is that practical help will be needed from others, um, from associates, partners, and friends. He's going to need help. Uh, friends with money. The treasure card represents money and finances. He's going to need the people with right connections and who will be positive alliances. Um, and it also says that he's opened this box. He's entertaining this idea. He's curious about the opportunity and he's exploring it now. And it's a precious idea. It's precious to him. And he will be running on, if he decides to run, he'll run on the platform of all the agreed of our current administration that needs to be, you know, addressed. So that's the main issue, and will come up from time to time uh, uh, as we integrate it with the other cards. He's got to notice that, you know, you can't see it here. But he's got three fives, three of the five, uh, the playing cards. He's got three fives in this reading. And fives are an unstable energy. It's a card of change, freedom, and movement. 
also a card of curiosity and travel just from one place to something new. So he's going through some changes and he will be um, going through new phases and changes that will be challenging for him um, in the next uh, three or four months. And um, he's going to have to finish up some old business um, that needs to be addressed as well before he can say for sure that he's going to run. Okay? So, um, first up in the reading, we have Avenatti's card. He's the gatekeeper, right? The gatekeeper has the key and the solution to open the way to make a means for escape. This is combined with the Three of Diamonds and it's next to the uh, the songbird, someone who's caged, someone who's trapped, right? That can represent um, several different characters or, you know, us as a collective America trapped in this this crazy mess with with Trump um, and also other issues in his personal life so Avenatti has the key see the key? but let's talk about the three of diamonds first the three of diamonds represents a work and a desire to improve circumstances um, it, it represents rich rewards that are promised along with significant promotion and a resolve that is needed to bring success and the gatekeeper talks about how he has the key and he has the solution to release us from a trapped a, a, our current trapped situation that we're stuck in that we're unhappy with so he has that knowledge he has the key and the know-how and the information that could um, send some people to prison and that will free us from dark times. He's also very much paying attention to timing. Um, timing is a big issue if he wants to run for president. Is now the right time? He's getting guidance. Currently he's getting guidance and direction about that. Okay. And money is an issue as well, okay? So, let's talk about the songbird. Um, I believe this was upright. I think I put it down the wrong way. So we got uh, the two of clubs, the songbird, and clarified... Songbird is clarified by two of clubs and the enchanted emporium. So the songbird is representing, like you guys know in my readings, there's layers and um, different characters can come in. So it can represent variables, various characters at the same time, each section of my reading. So currently he is limited, Avenatti. It could be limited or restricted by financial condition, issues of finances or issues of time. Okay? and he may be in an unhealthy situation with a partner we've got the lady of, of summer here he may be in an unhealthy situation with a partner this could be a female partner or it could be because uh, I clarified it and I got uh, the jack of clubs could also be a business associate okay Mainly we're focusing on the songbird right now, though. And this, this unhealthy situation with a partner has him feeling stuck, and, and that could be in regards to finances. Um, it's very dissatisfying. Whatever the situation, it has him feeling stuck. It's dissatisfying. It may be money-related. The two of clubs here is uh, 
telling me by its meaning that Avenatti could be challenged by financial restrictions or limitations. Challenged to run for president, right? Because of financial restrictions or limitations, possibly some old debts that he has to pay or unfinished business that needs to be handled. But these are just temporary setbacks and problems. These debts may be related to uh, a self-run business or his practice or a partner, a romantic partner or a business partner. He has to handle these situations first before he can um, fully commit to becoming a, a, a presidential candidate or putting his bid in to run. Um, the woman here... Lady of Summer, like I said, could be referring to um, a romantic partner, a wife. I'm not sure if he's married. I've heard that he's going through a divorce. I don't know if he's already divorced. So it could be a current wife or an ex-wife that she may be representing. Um, and then clarified by the Jack of Clubs could also be talking about a friend or a business partner or associate, right? So that may be what's challenging him. In regards to his running for president, he may be considered too young or inexperienced for the job by uh, the Democratic Party powers that be. The Enchanted Emporium is the card of an apprentice. The whole deck, the whole Chronicles of Destiny deck is based on this person and their journey of lessons um, as they they move through the cards. So it's very much like the full in tarot, the full card in tarot. So um, this card can represent an apprentice or the full in tarot. So several things are going on here. He is challenged, Avenatti is challenged to put the fool, the current fool, in prison. That's the unfinished business. Trump, Cohen, you know, he's got to complete his cases. Or um, he wants to complete his cases. He wants to, um, he wants to definitely um, finish the, that unfinished business. Um, he also wants to help someone innocent who came to him for guidance and support, and that could be Stormy or any of his other cases. Avenatti may be under some kind of investigation. This is a card of an investigation, an investigator, because even though they're young, look at their keen eyes. They're curious. They look into things sharply and deeply. Look at all the books and the candles show illumination. This is a card of someone who learns, who is curious, who finds out, and who is an investigator. So Avenatti may be under some kind of investigation or scrutiny as well as a challenge. And he may be investigating others as a challenge. Um, the wife, a woman, a business partner. Um, Trump, Cohen, all of all of these factors come into play, right? He has a lot of information and secrets. Avenatti does, and and he's saying to himself, if this fool Trump can be president, then I can certainly be president. I may not be exper politically experienced, but I know a lot. I have a lot to offer, and I understand the law. This is this is someone who does their homework, and they do their research, and they will learn what they need to know to become, at the end of the story, the master. So that's his energy. The person represented here, Avenatti, takes it all the way. This is just the beginning. But he's going to end up the master at the end of this story. I 
I want to keep her out because I think she's going to play a part this card in, as we go on. Alright, so let's talk about Lady Summer as we go 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 more into it. Um, Avenatti uh, is, will get crowned. This is like um, if we were doing a past, present, future. The future is he's, he's going to end up crowned with uh, success. This is, she wears a crown. This is a card of, of success. It would be the sun card if it were tarot. It can also be representing a beautiful woman that he has unfinished business with. Um, or a woman who is in the spotlight, okay? Because the sun can be celebrity, media, spotlight, okay? So, again, we can be re referring to several different people. You have to allow for that, guys. As you watch this back and see things, how things unfold, okay? I can only generally touch on it, but all of these factors may come into play, um, or one or more or all of these factors will come into play, all right? I'm trying to make sure you understand that, and I hope that you do. So this card is telling me that Avenatti has the power and the blessing of the sun itself. It's his time. This is a card of timing. It's his time to shine. And the world is looking at him. He's in the spotlight. He has a lot of appeal. He's attractive. Yeah, he is a good-looking man. And he's, he's got charisma. He knows how to talk to the media. He knows what to say. He's 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 got that he's got that triple uh, triple threat factor to him. Okay. Um, where you at, Simon Cowell? Because Avenatti's got the X factor. Okay. He's and he and he's going to expose the corruption in Washington. He's going to expose it. He's got the key. He's got solutions, he's got secrets, he's got answers. And that's part of his unfinished business that will unfold, and he will achieve success with that. Okay? He will achieve success with his cases, and he's going to draw even more attention to himself when that happens, even more than he has right now. Because um, he's going to be a factor in exposing a lot of truth. So he will have the power and the momentum of the sun behind him and also the the push of a dark man a jack of clubs is a dark man could be a black man could be Obama I hope so <laughs> he could have the push of a dark man who is also wears a crown has achieved victory and success so this man is associated with the crown and victory and success. So he has that energy in his makeup. So it could be Obama. It could be someone else. And this man could help him achieve and win a crown of his own. Like I said, Jack of Clubs represents a dark man who is a friend or an associate who can be a great supportive friend who provides guidance, assistance, and who could bring him money, backers, um, enable him to meet the right people, people of influence. This is someone who can help him to realize his dreams and to achieve his ambitions and who could also greatly inspire him. I see Avenatti looking up to this man. Okay. Hmm. This is a man who is not flashy, though. Even though he wears the crown, even though he has achieved great success, this is not a flashy man. This is a practical man, a highly intelligent man. And he's very straightforward. So it sounds like uh, Obama to me. But again, you have to be open and allow who it, who it might be someone else. With victory here as a clarifier, both of these cards clarify Lady Summer. Avenatti is a winner, guys. I've said it in my if you if you if like I said, you search my readings, anything with Avenatti in the title. Listen to those again. I said it. Avenatti's a winner, guys. And I'm saying it again. 
Ultimately, he will attain his goal. Ultimately, he will win. If he decides to run for president, he will give it his, his all. He will do his research. He will do his homework. He won't get into it unless he is sure he could win it. He takes that energy with him into everything that he does. So, um, it's telling me also that this is a card of a yes, a confirmation. It's, you know, the sun is the big yes. So, the question is, will he run for president? I would have to say yes. Even though at this time in the reading, um, he's still thinking about it. I'm, he's headed towards a big yes, guys. Timing is a factor. This card talks about... Um, June, July, August, um, the summertime. So, uh, or it could just be saying that timing is a factor, but it's around that time um, where he's con he's considering uh, the matter. He's looking into it with curiosity. And also, he has to strike strike while the iron is hot, right? He has to strike when the time is right. So he needs to know that the time is right before he can make that announcement. Because he has to win. That's his energy. He has to. All right. So let me lay these back down. I want to keep him out. Because the cards are interacting. Someone... Um, Recommended I get some blue tack tape for the, my board. I haven't I haven't got it yet, but uh, I I I heard your suggestion, and I'm gonna look into that. Do it like that. Okay. All right. Can you guys see that? Let me move up a little bit. No, we're going to go... Actually, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. So this is a card in the past position. Um, we've got Pegasus. And we've got Six of sp so Spades, which would be like Six of Swords if it were Tarot. And we've got the Page of Swords reversed. Despair, but it's reversed, so it's not a negative card as negative as it would be as if it were upright. At least not in Sibylla, it's not. So let's talk about it. Um, Six of Spades is telling me that Avenatti has put a lot of hard work in to his to his cases, okay, to the work that he does, and he's proved himself worthy as an individual and as a hero as a fighter. He's still fighting right now. This could be in the recent past or present condition, right? It's it's an energy that's he's currently involved in and, and, and it's passing through. He's still fighting. He's proving himself worthy and he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He's fighting for the truth and victory over these situations. And the situations are Trump, situations are maybe a situation with a personal relationship, a wife or ex-wife, um, or a new relationship. Um, And also to you know fighting to run to run for president. Um, recently, he traveled. This is a card of taking a recent trip, a short trip. He recently he traveled, and and on that travel in that trip, he recognized and he saw that. Running for president is going to take a lot of hard work, commitment, blood, sweat, and tears, total dedication in order to 
win others over to him. That same commitment, total dedication may be required to win his cases, uh, to win against the president, to win for Stormy or his other cases, to get his wife back, or to start a new relationship. He has to apply a lot of hard work and dedication to any or all of these areas, right? He's seen that when he recognized that on this recent trip. Mainly I'm talking about running for president, though. He saw that it's not going to be easy because he didn't, he, he didn't get or receive the kind of feedback he was hoping to get. So he sees and recognizes he's going to have to work work hard to win people over to him, to see him as that presidential candidate. But it says that the hard work put in will not go unrewarded when you have Pegasus. Hard work at the end of the day will be well worth it and will bring great joy. So, even though he may be under, undergoing currently in any of these areas that I've already mentioned several times, any or all, he may be currently undergoing setbacks or lack the support. It says, ultimately, if he keeps striving, he will achieve victory with these things. Ultimately, he will win and overcome difficulties um, that he sees currently in front of him. So as a side note, um, you know, because I'm seeing this relationship issue here for him, I wanted to ask, should he even try to get this wife back? Or, you know, and I'm feeling like he wants to get someone back, uh, a personal relationship. So I asked, should he even try to, like, get back together with her? Should he, should he put his energy into that? I'm going to come back to these in a minute. And um, I used the La Vera Sibilla to help me. Two cards fell out, and then I wasn't satisfied, so I got another, a third. So, La, Ma La Monte is the um, female lover. So he has deep feelings for a woman. She's very dear to his heart. And he wants a woman that he can count on. There may be a third-party situation going on in his personal life. I don't know if he cheated, she cheated, or if there's someone else in the picture already for him or her. But I believe that he wants to reconcile with someone or come together with someone. Again, only Avenatti can answer who that is with. But this person needs to understand that going forward, Avenatti ain't no joke. He is, he's totally dedicated to his work, to whatever work he's doing, and he uh, puts his all into it, okay? And so this person's going to have to be up for that ride. Bambino is telling me that um, there will be a new beginning in his love life. It could be he restarts with the ex, or he starts something new with someone. Only, again, only Avenatti could have really answered that question. But I see a pregnancy in his future, because the Lady Autumn can represent the Empress in Tarot, so she's pregnant. This is a, you know, a baby. So there could be a child in his future, another child. Um, but also represents fruitful conditions developing for him in terms of career advancement, um, his case is running for president. Bambino is saying there's new beginning and uh, things are developing. A new birth, a new way of life, and a situation grows and develops. So it'll all work out, Avenatti, as long as you keep fighting for what it is you want. Um, if you have to fight to persuade someone to take you on, I believe you can you can do that, okay? If you're listening, I hope you are. And when you come into your kingdom, remember me, <laughs> Kirsten from Soul Light Hypnotherapy. All right. Um, 
Didn't they say that in the movie? Um, Jesus, that Jesus movie, when Jesus was on the uh, cross, and the fellow, uh, crucif uh, someone who was being crucified next to him said, "Remember me when you come into your kingdom." Hmm. Well, you know, as you know, remember, I don't say anything for, for no reason. Okay. Um. Next. And I'm just feeling that Savior, Christ, Jesus Christ, that Savior energy around him. I I I personally like Avenatti a lot. I I uh, he, he has hard edges, but I I like him a lot. I think he's got a true heart. Well, let's keep going. I already uh, spoke to you about this, right? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So, where are we going to go next? We're going to go here. We're going to go to the near future. In the near future, this is interesting. These cards are interesting, right? Uh, several things are happening here. In the near future for Avenatti, we got the Four of Spades, which could be like the Four of Swords in Tarot, but also has other meanings, you know, playing card meanings. The Weaver of Words. Polaris, to clarify and Speranza to clarify, okay? All, everything is clarifying the Weaver of Words. So let's start with Four of Spades. This is a card about a warning, a warning to Avenatti. Um, in the future, there could be health or stress-related issues with any of the things that I've mentioned. Um, so he's going to need to take some kind of a break. Um, he may be going to take a vacation or um, take a break or... Uh, it, it could even be a card of separation from a relationship. He may be currently separated or separating from a relationship. There's some sort of break needed in order to um, rejuvenate his health or to alleviate some stress. And um, a trip by the water could help do that as well, Avenatti. Or a spiritual counsel could help with that as well. So I'm just going to act like he's listening, you know, and so kind of kind of talk to him from time to time. Um, if anybody knows him, send him this reading. During this time, in the near future, he's going to take a break um, or take some time to reflect or meditate or pray on running for president. Let's just stay focused on that. But like I said, any of the other issues are are involved as well. He's got to feel it. He's got to feel it in his soul when he takes something on, when he gets involved with something. So he looks deep within to find his own answers. He trusts his own compass. This is a card of uh, true north, your own compass. Um, he's looking within to find answers, to thoroughly investigate a matter before he will involve himself with it. So that is what he's going to be doing in the near future, um, in the month of August. And before he can say for sure that he'll take on the quest of running for president or a new relationship. He may be going through, like I said, a separation with his partner as well, and that's a factor. But it's really weird because I'm picking up an Amorosa vibe here because we got the Weaver of Words, who's a writer of books. we got The Apprentice here. And he's he's investigating a matter. He's looking he's looking deep for inner answers. Should I or shouldn't I? Right? There's like I'm getting I'm getting a bit of an Amorosa vibe here. Like maybe Amorosa will contact him in the near future with her legal problems because she recorded the president, and he will have to decide whether or not he would want to get involved with that. 
um, it puts him in a position to be an adversary, more of an adversary with Donald Trump, which could be good, right, for a presidential run. But um, Avenatti, if you're listening, uh, you can do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to try not to be as judgmental as I have been lately. I'm going to try to draw back and just present you guys with the information I see in the cards. I will draw my own conclusions and share that with you, but um, I'm going to try not to be so do it like this, you know. Um, but let me just say this, Avenatti, I know someone very personally who had Omarosa as a client in the past, and um, the persona of Omarosa that everyone has perceived or understood is the truth. Um, she's she's di a difficult woman. So do you want to get involved with that? The, there's a warning here. It's very stressful. It would be very stressful. Okay? Um, and uh, you're not the type of guy who, who uh, takes any shit. So, you know, you might want to really deeply consider that before you take that on. Really do your research. Because I think she would cause you a lot of stress. But it's up to you. Weaver of Words talks about he will be putting his thoughts into form shortly. But he's being warned that whatever it is he decides to take on, running for president, getting back with his wife, taking on Omarosa or some other cases or finishing out his cases, is going to cause him a lot of stress. He's going to be working really hard coming up. He's going to be working like a, a fiend. So... Take this break right now, Avenatti, to rest yourself and get yourself prepared. Um, I do think he's a spiritual person, maybe not religious, but he has, like I said, that inner, that inner compass that guides him. And um, once he gets that aha, that epiphany that he needs, which, uh, which is what Polaris talks about, then he'll know exactly what he wants to do. He's got to get that feeling before he can take a, a project on. So, uh, and, and, and maybe taking a trip by the water, taking a break or vacation will allow him to, um, sort that out. But ultimately, um, this is a card of getting a successful outcome. He keeps getting cards that say, once you decide, you get a successful outcome. Okay. So that's his near future. Emotionally, he's got the master card, mastery card, and the eight of hearts. So he feels he's happy where he's at right now, and he's considering his options. Um, he'll be meeting new people, um, and they'll be wanting to meet with him and discuss his future potential as a, you know, possibly running for president. They're going to want to see how he would get along with fellow Democrats, where he stands, what he runs for. Um, is he a team player? They're going to be sizing him up, which he will enjoy because he likes sizing people up himself. He's a strategist. and um, He's a strategist. He's going to be sizing them up as he entertains the idea. Mastery tells me that he feels that ultimately he feels that he, he, he's ready and he, he would be uh, ideal. Um, for the job. He believes in himself and, and if he decides that he wants to do this, he'll blow them away if that's what he decides he wants to do. So where do I want to go next? I feel I want to go to um, uh, Yeah, I want to go here. This this would be the, you know, the result where this is headed, right? And this threw me off because this is the only negative card, really, in this reading that pertains to him. Uh, I clarified it with the Five of Hearts and the Interlude. So he's got the road to nowhere. Now, in a romantic reading, this is a man who, and, it, and he does have some romantic issues coming up, this is a man who doesn't see a future with the present partner and may go back to an old partner okay it's also representing um, 
someone who's at a crossroads. Do I want to go forward into the unknown? Do I want to go back where I came, where I've had so much success, where I'm already a master? Do I want to, what do I want this new beginning? He asks himself. So that's what he's doing right now. He's at this crossroads in life. He needs to be sure that his situation is one that he can win because that's his character. Donald Trump has character flaws. Avenatti's character flaws, he's got to win. That's a good character flaw to have. It's not, it, it, it's not, uh, it's a ruthless, excessive need to win, but it's not a, a corrupted, ruthless. It's not, um, it's not like he would commit a crime to win. It's not like a negative, but it's just like a compulsion. I must, you know, I must win. I, he's got to see a oh, win in the future. He's got to analyze it and see that he could win before he could take it on. So for now, though, in his private life, like I said, he's going through an unsettled, unstable time with a romantic partner. He may be in a state of transition or flux, possibly separated from someone, trying to decide if he sees a future with someone new, if he wants to go back to the old. He doesn't want to walk this new path alone. And... He also analyzes that walking this path of running for president, he needs a partner who he can rely on. So those are questions that are running through his mind and that are frustrating him at this present moment that he's trying to figure out. Okay. And uh, uh, he's, he's, I'm going to come back to this later, but this is like a, He's taking that break. This is a pause. This is an interlude to consider uh, which path he wants to take. But I'll come back to interlude in a minute at the end. So now let's let's go into who Avenatti is, all right? And the most likely outcome. You got the uh, the hero card and the seven of hearts. So, um, Seven of Hearts talks about having tremendous potential. Avenatti has tremendous potential if he wants to run for president. He has tremendous potential. I don't care what anybody says. He's got the X factor that's needed. And I was telling you guys in the past, we don't have anyone who's standing out. He stands out. He's strong. He's already shown himself to be an adversary to be reckoned with in terms of uh, all the administration and all of Trump's lawyers. He, this guy's a shark, and this guy is a winner, okay? So he's got tremendous potential, and he's got many good options in front of him. It's up to him if he wants to do this, because all of his options are good. And he's still in the decision-making process. He's going to, like I said, be meeting people, making contacts, and and meeting people who can um, uh, uh, rise him up, raise him up, and fulfill, uh, help him fulfill a lifelong dream, because this is his dream. He, he dreams of greatness. Avenatti has um, a lifelong dream, a boyhood dream of becoming great. Okay? And this is a wonderful time for him. This is a wonderful time for him. with Lady, uh, Lady Summer. And he's in, enjoying the attention and the idea of being president. Um, it's all running through his mind. He's imagining what it would be like. What it would feel like. And he has high hopes and aspirations. The hero tells me that it's more than high hopes. This man believes in himself. He knows that if he should decide to pursue this course, that he will be successful at it because that's just how he rolls. That's his style. Describing his character, 
the hero describes his character as someone who sets their mind. Once they sense the, set their mind to something, they achieve it. They make it happen. Also, look at his eyes. He's got beautiful eyes in this picture, right? Avenatti has beautiful eyes. Uh, he's, he's a good-looking man, I think. <laughs> his eyes are stunning. And they're inviting. They're attractive. They're keen. They're aware. They're, he's smart. He's, he's no fool. He's no fool. The eyes are the window to the soul. So this tells you this guy, this guy has a sincere soul. He's committed to the fight, to the righteous cause. And he applies hard work, dedication, sweat, and tears to whatever he is aimed at. Okay, I'm just telling you his character as a human being. But he can be, uh, he fights for the righteous, and he fights for a righteous cause, but he can be cold and cruel, you know, with the facts and with the truth very blunt and he can deliver facts and truth without emotional warmth in a very detached way and he doesn't let emotions come into play with facts and truth which is good that means he's he's uh, he's um he's not easily biased but he comes off as sharp and cutting to others sometimes with his words and with his facts and that might have to be um, honed uh, to come off in a more tactful diplomatic way if he wants to pursue this course but he, it tells me he, he is he, he fights for the cause he will fight for democracy he is steadfast and strong he's a fighter he's a warrior and he's not afraid to face dragons he's strategic calculating, extremely intelligent, and a good discerner of souls, characters, and situations. And like I said before, it's his childhood aspiration to rise to greatness. He believes in himself, he believes in his cause, and he wants to be everybody's hero. That's who he is as a human being. I liked him. So let's, let's, let's round this reading out. Let's finish it up. Okay. Going forward into the future around the time of Lady Autumn, we've got accepting the quest. Lady Autumn is a timing card as well as Lady Summer is a timing card. Where did I put her? She's somewhere. Lady Autumn is a timing card. She's a time of autumn. Uh, uh, September, October, November. Uh... So, around the time of Lady Autumn, he's going to be entering a new phase, ending one phase and entering a new phase in his life. That could be the job, that could be the relationship, that could be his, one of his cases, or um, he's, he, could, he could get out of, of, of his practice of being a lawyer and, and, and become a political candidate whatever um, he's going to be ending a phase of his life and starting a new phase he's going through this transition and he's going to be taking on a new quest and a new path in his life so I believe he will accept the quest I told you before where is Lady Autumn that he's got uh, two yeses here two big yeses here and possibly even an endorsement coming from from Obama. I hope so. He'll make an, a formal announcement around the time of Lady Autumn, so no later than November 30th, between now and November 30th. He'll make that announcement whether or not he will run for president, and I believe it's going to be a yes, based on the cards. But again, he is, he is the, it's up to him. And he, he, he's, he's got a strong will and his decision could change things. You know what I'm saying? Right now is it, the inclination of the energy is that he'll say yes, but that could change him. I, ha I have to say it could change, but I feel strongly that he will say yes. I want to run for president. There's also some sort of financial contract 
that will be resolved by by this time, November 30th as well. Could be a settlement, could it be could be a divorce, right? And uh, around that time, that's when he accepts the quest to run. Um, finally, we have Five of Diamonds and Lady Autumn, which is telling in the position of other people and their external influence on him. So it might it may take some time for people, the powers that be, the Democratic Party powers that be, people in um, the public, people in, you know, in, in America, the public, or, you know, Democrats, to warm up to him, but they will definitely warm up to him. He's got the sun card, um, but in time they will warm up to him as they see his potential, as they watch him win his cases, as they watch him um, take someone down or put someone in prison, um, They're going to see that Avenatti is not a talker. Avenatti is a doer. He's a winner. He's got the look. He's got the smarts. He's got the charisma. He knows how to talk to the media. He's got media sway. He's already got everybody's attention. And, and he's going to, they're going to want to grow and develop with him. He's going to get even more popularity going forward. There's a much movement talking energy and buzz around him and that's going to continue to grow she would be the empress if this were a tarot card and people are going to want to help him plan and develop his campaign and find donors and like I said this dark man who already wears a crown who has already achieved success could be significant in making that shift take place where people you know look at Avenatti like Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with this guy, but ultimately, ultimately, like I said, it's gonna be up to Avenatti to accept this quest or not. Um, but look at these cards, guys! I love it. The cards are saying that um, he's a natural. The cards are saying that Avenatti is a natural born winner and others will fall in they're going to see that in time he'll prove himself worthy and 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 when and when he knows for sure and he takes on that quest it'll be because he knows he can win okay it'll be because he knows he's he can be uh he can he can save our democracy that's what that's that's and he can make a difference okay so by November 30th no later I believe he'll make his announcement and going back to interlude he would be proud and honored to be the president of the United States he would take the role seriously Uh, it, it's no frivolous matter to him. It's not a matter of power. It's a matter of integrity. It's a matter of purpose. Okay? So, um, I believe that Avenatti would be an excellent president should he decide to, to run. Um, I believe he would be an excellent president, and he would have my vote. Unless Mueller ran against him, I might have to think about that. <laughs> but um, he's got hero energy. So you guys decide what you think, what you think about this reading. Leave your comments. Don't be rude. Rude comments just get deleted. And um, get you blocked. So, but leave, leave your comments, what you think. And thank you for tuning in. Make sure to join me on Patreon, become a member, it's not that expensive. You'll get all my videos, um, any partial videos that I upload to YouTube, you'll have access to the full version on Patreon when they're available, and some exclusive videos, and at th this week I will be putting up what the Madam, Manhattan Madam testified to, that's what I'm going to look into this week. 
So make sure you don't miss it. Become a Patreon member. It's $5 a month, guys. Don't pledge less than that. It's $5 a month. And, um, yeah, thank you again for, for your support. And um, peace to you all. I want to make sure that I say that. I wish you all well. I wish you much peace and blessings. And um, God bless America. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.